Hey guys, LMB Productions here, and today I'll be reviewing a retired LEGO City set. This is set number 7686, Helicopter Transporter. It contains 377 pieces, 3 minifigures, and originally retailed for $40. And this set was released in 2009. Here are the 3 minifigures that we get in the set. Now from left to right, this is the truck driver, the motorcycle driver, and the helicopter pilot. And as you can see, all three of them have the same torsos and legs. And the motorcycle driver and the helicopter pilot both have the black helmet with visor on. And for whatever reason, the helicopter pilot looks pretty mad. You can see right there, he doesn't look too happy. And here is the motorcycle driver's face. And as you can see, none of these figures have any back printing. And since it's LEGO City, they don't have second faces. Alright, so here is the motorcycle, the smallest of the three vehicles in the set. And as you can tell, this is built upon the classic LEGO motorcycle base. As you can see right here, we've got the white, bluish, gray kickstands underneath. And we've got a nice little sticker on the side there. And we've got the exhaust on the back. And we've got a little antenna there. And the other side is identical. And on the front here, we have the lights with the LEGO City towing sticker right there. And here's where our minifigure would stand. And I'll show you how that looks. Alright, so here's how it looks when we set our driver on the motorbike. And it looks really cool, especially from the front, as you can see right there. Alright, so here's the helicopter that we get in the set. And I think this has a nice sporty design to it. And on the side here, we have a video camera. And this does turn. And this looks like a pretty old camera because we've got the tapes on the side there. And that, by the way, is a printed tile. And continuing along the side here, we have a compartment that you can store stuff in. And we've got some lights and exhaust vents up on top here along with the jets. And if we zoom out, we can take a look at the rear of the helicopter. And we've got the tailpiece there along with the propeller. And here's a view of the back. We've got the wing with the white marker light. And here's a look at the other side. It is the same thing except for the fact that you have a spotlight here instead of a video camera. And this can turn as well. And you have the same exact compartment here. And we've got these nice pieces here to make it more aerodynamic. As you can see we have the floodlight right there. And I'll show you the inside of the cockpit. So this can easily lift up. And inside we just have a seat for the minifigure and a lever. And we've got the red and green marker lights on either side there. And we've got some lights up in here. So that looks pretty nice. And now I'll show you what it looks like when we set our minifigure in the cockpit. Alright, so here is our pilot set inside the cockpit of the helicopter. And he's got his one hand on the lever and he's all ready to go flying. Alright, so we will now be taking a look at the helicopter transporter. And we will be starting off with the cab of the truck. And I really like this truck. I think it has a really nice flow to it. As you can see, we have a nice aerodynamic piece up here that you can angle. So I really like that a lot. And on the side of the truck here, we have the towing sticker. And of course, we've got the opening and closing doors there. And we've got some steps leading up to the cab with a fuel tank over here. We've got some more little steps over here. And here is a look at the front of the truck. As you can see, we've got the license plate along with the headlights there. And here is a look at the other side. It's pretty much the same thing. And here is the back. We've got the license plate along with the taillights. And we do have these smokestacks. And we do have a blue light bar up there. And here is a view from the top. That is where the trailer would connect. And here's the top of the cab. And I'll show you the inside. So we can just simply pop this off. And as you can see, we have a seat for one minifigure. You could squeeze in two if you position their arms correctly. And we've got the steering wheel and the red mug in there. You can actually lift up the whole hood of the truck, as you can see right here. I think that's just a really nice feature that they included. And we can even see the engine details in there. A very basic engine, but still very cool. And I like how the hood opens up. 
and it can easily go back down and walk into those studs there. Alright, so the last part of this set that we will be taking a look at will be the Low Boy trailer. And this trailer has a lot of detail on it. And it does sit very low to the ground, hence the term Low Boy. And as you can see, you can angle it upward without the back four tires leaving the ground. So that's pretty cool. And as you can see, we do have some suspension there. So we'll start off by taking a look at the bed of the trailer here. And this is the area where the helicopter would sit. And I'll show you that in a few minutes. And we've got the transparent blue lights in the corners there. And we've got some nice pieces here along the side to add some detail. And as we work our way to the top, we have some fire extinguishers there on either side. We have the octane canister. And we've got some tools way up on top there. As you can see. And we can actually detach this whole piece from the trailer. As you can see. And in this compartment we have an oil can. And in this one we have an impact driver. And this can easily reattach. Like so. And we've got these caution stickers along the sides here. And this is where the trailer would attach to the cab. And here's the underside. And this trailer base is actually used for a lot of trains. It's a common train base in LEGO City. So that's pretty cool. And here's the other side. Pretty much the same thing. And here's the back of the trailer. And this is the part that moves up and down. And as you can see, we've got the license plate and the taillights. And we've got some caution markings on the bumper there. So I will now show you how the helicopter fits onto the trailer. So we can simply take our helicopter and easily set it onto the trailer. And as you can see, that black piece will fit very nicely between the landing skits, just like so. So I think that's a really efficient way for it to go onto the trailer. So that will be all for this review. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you didn't enjoy it, please tell me what I can improve on in the comments section below. Your constructive feedback is always appreciated. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.